This variant is different. It's attacking younger and younger Kentuckians, and in many cases, it's making them much sicker than the original COVID strain. And while I've been saying that, Dr. Stack's been saying that, healthcare providers have been saying that, sometimes I think we need to hear from somebody who's been through it. That's why some Kentuckians, like Ethan, who you're about to hear from, are sharing their stories to encourage people to make the choice that could save their lives. I was very, very big on anti-COVID, anti-vaccine. Uh, I've made Facebook posts, public posts, talked to people, made a big deal about it, made a point to not wear a mask, made a point to say that COVID wasn't important. And I am eating crow on it because I experienced it. I laid in the hospital bed for two separate occasions in the last month. I laid on the bed in so much pain that my wife, who is a nurse at Baptist, and her coworkers were just trying to calm me down from how much pain I was in. And fighting for breath, that was when I realized this is really bad right now. I can't even tough it out, you know? I think of myself as a, a guy that can handle some stuff, and I'm laying on a hospital bed and I can't even sit still. And the doctors up there did above and beyond what they could have done and saved my life. Having COVID, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. It's because of COVID I have to fight now every day to get a little bit better. I'm relearning how to walk without catching my breath. If I knew that a vaccination would have taken 75% or even half of my struggles the last month out, six months ago, I would have gotten in a heartbeat and I would have never looked back. Uh, for being brave, uh, for being willing to admit when we're wrong, and for also showing the dangers of misinformation. One of the most difficult things that we face in our fight against this virus is folks either putting out information that is blatantly false or sometimes intentionally lying. And we've tried to talk in different times about what those are sometimes, it's putting something out that is just untrue, like the people that say masks don't work. They do. Study after study after study show that they do. Sometimes it's folks writing an op-ed who want to say what the WHO recommends and never what the CDC has recommended right here in the United States. 